today. We'll show you seven midfield skills that will help you keep the ball, beat defenders, and play a killer through pass. You're watching All Attack. No touch turn. When you're receiving a pass and a defender is trying to get around the front of you to steal the ball, turn your body so that your back is facing the defender. Then let the ball roll past you and the defender. This skill is all about awareness. Awareness of the defender's movement. And awareness of the space available behind you. Jorginho pass. When you're around the midfield area and a player passes you the ball from the wing, use the curve technique and hit the ball with your first touch. Curving the pass so that it goes behind the defense but away from the goalkeeper. Giving your striker the perfect ball to run onto. This kind of pass is really surprising for defenders because normally you wouldn't expect someone to play a through pass with their first touch. Especially when they're facing the sideline. Okay, now. Are you ready? Draw in the defender. When you're on a breakaway and there's lots of space between you and any defenders, you actually don't want to pass the ball right away. For example, in this situation, if you were to pass the ball to your teammate right now, the defender would have time to get across and get between your teammate and the goal. But if you continue to dribble at the defender and toward goal, then eventually the defender is going to have to come and engage you. And when they move to stop you, that's when you pass the ball to your teammate, who now has a free run at goal. First touch against momentum. When you receive a ball to your feet and you notice the defender's momentum moving toward you to close you down, take your first touch so that it goes against the defender's momentum. Okay now, from the beginning. And then, because the defender had so much speed going in the opposite direction, it will be almost impossible for them to recover. The one touch turn. When you're receiving a ball and you want to turn, let the ball hit the inside of your foot while at the same time pulling your foot back and behind you. Pivoting on your standing leg to complete the turn. 
rock this place. This is a great skill if you want to turn directly behind you and do it all in one smooth motion. Also, you can use it to turn past the defender when they're tied on one shoulder. Adjusting your feet before shooting. When you play midfield, sometimes the ball will come back to you at the top of the box, giving you the opportunity for a spectacular strike. The only problem is, the ball coming back to you is almost never going to be perfect. If you watch the best players take first time shots, you'll notice that oftentimes, They'll take quick, small steps just before going into the shooting motion. This allows them to adjust their body position quickly, so they can hit balls that are coming from different heights, angles, and speeds. If you just stand flat-footed and don't move your feet much, then you're almost never going to take a good shot. Pass the ball in front. When you're on the attack and you're passing to a player who's facing downfield, ideally, you want to pass the ball a little in front of your teammate. This will allow them to keep their forward momentum and move down the field quicker. Now, of course, many times you have to pass the ball straight to someone's feet because they don't have the space in front of them to run into. But if the space is there, then even the most simple pass should be played at least a little in front of the attacker. That way, they can take it in their stride and keep the attack moving forward. All right, everybody, we hope you liked that video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below, make sure to subscribe, and make sure to check out our other videos if you want to learn more about football. Hey,